The 14 girls who were abducted almost a month ago are still missing. I thought I lost you. Are you all right? I will be. You're safe here, I promise. Who I turn to in times like this, who makes me feel safe? Is that really fair to him? She seems nice. Nicole. It's not a date. Not anymore. Not at all. You need to move on. Yeah. Change could be good for both of us. Yeah. I don't understand how a girl that I met in this shop, who never hurt anybody, can be dragged off by half-baked revolutionaries, and no one can seem to find her. So you understand that. Explain it to me. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, can we go somewhere? Of course. We didn't see each other the night that Charlotte was killed. We didn't walk or talk or go anywhere. Whatever you say, Ryan. Where did you go? I went home. I know him. I know that Ezra can't look me in the eye when he lies, and he didn't. You were compassionate, sensitive. You're kind. Maybe I'm not. How long have you known me? Who do you think I am? I don't know. You are not the same person I said goodbye to in front of the proof that's over. I started to think about all the lies that I've told you. Everything that I've talked you into. Everything that I've talked myself into. I wrote a painful and gripping story, which also has all the makings of a great romantic novel if you want to write that too. I can't really tell if you want to hug me or punch me. How can I punch you? This wasn't a career move. This this was an act of love. Hey, don't be scared. Wasn't true what you said earlier about the writing. I have creative baggage too. I'm wanting to make you proud. This is so complicated. You're writing a book with the guy you used to be in love with, and it's about his relationship with his dead girlfriend. But you've written a really beautiful love story for Nicole. I'm sorry. It's gonna be huge. That's what we really did it. Yeah, we did.